Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Chou Si. Today I would like to do this video to talk about、um, sort and mainly talking about how to differentiate between fake and real or genuine that make us do. As、uh, most vendors are marketing their sort right now with patterns on the blade, are mostly labeled as. Damica steel. We have to know that Damica steel is actually not just a pattern steel blade. Damica steel blade is actually like there is a、uh, really, really Damica kind of Damica, and it's supposed to be not like the usual pattern you see, and、uh, it's closer to what we call woods right now. And、uh, those kind of steel are really called Damica steel. But you know, everyone get used to the norm and the trendy stuff. So everybody now refers pattern steel to Damica steel. So we'll use that word anyway. So since everyone knows it, so、uh, when you buy a sword from eBay, Amazon, or whatever vendor, okay,、um, you expect the word Damica steel to be a blade with folded steel patterns. And usually, you get the blade, you look at it, and you're like. Hmm, and then your friend goes, "That's fake." <laughs> Now that's a problem. How can you tell if a Damica steel blade is fake or real? It's very easy. Let me show you. This here, it's、uh, the Thunder God katana. It's a. It's not a very expensive katana. It's a cheap one.、Uh, it's about one hundred bucks to one hundred fifty, something like that. And、uh, the blade here is polished by me. And also touched up, and it's made of carbon steel,、uh, carbon steel blade, and folded,、uh, hand forged, so that you can see the patterns on here. They label this as Damica steel patterns, but it's, of course it's not the genuine Damica, but it's a folding, folded steel pattern here. It's a genuine one. So, for some people who are curious or the the、uh, question if this thing is real or not. In terms of a damicus or folded steel, let's take a look. Right here, you can see the blade is shiny, okay, like a shiny grayish blade. Blade, okay. Let's take a look at this close up. See, it looks just so plain and shiny kind of、uh, look. Okay, now here goes the magic. To tell. If the blade is genuine、uh, for the steel or not, you need a flashlight. A flashlight that can、uh, put on low mode like this. Low mode. You see, we have high mode, higher mode, low mode. See. Okay. You need some low power flashlight that gives a good flooding light. And here we go. You put the blade here, and then you put the light over it. And then you go on an angle like that, and there you go. You can see the pattern. Let me try this. Okay, secure the blade to my body, and there we go. Ta da! Okay, where's the light? There we go. Uh, okay, just trying to get the best angle for you guys. Okay, here we go. Woo! Uh, light, come on. Okay, here you go. You see all that pattern? Even in the、uh, shinier area, you can still see the pattern. You see? Okay, that is genuine Damica steel. I mean, folded steel, and you can still see it in the shinier、uh, part where the bow high is. And、uh, yeah, you see. As you scroll along, you can see the the pattern all the way. Okay, this is genuine. Even the the back edge, you can still see it, and the other side, of course. Ooh, be careful! This is sharp. Okay, you see the other side, you can still see the pattern, and it looks nice, right? Okay, when the light is off, you can see everything returns back to normal.、It、looks like a shiny blade. If you got a blade like this, okay. When this blade first come to me, it's a very dull looking blade. It's grayish in color. It looks like shit, and it doesn't really、um, give you some appealing、uh, feeling. Okay, so、um, what I did was I took some sandpaper,、um, 
uh, start from 200 uh, grit and then you start all the way like go all the way up to uh, like 200 to 60 to 80 300 400 600 800 thousand 2000 and then when you reach to like 3000 to keep polishing the blade okay reach to 3000 the blade will be like this very shiny shiny looking reflective and yeah it looks nice for katanas this spot here is the cross uh, sanding section you need to uh, neither use a file or you use a rougher sandpaper to sand in a different direction with a tool and uh, to make that effect but otherwise everything is pretty shiny right now and you cannot see the pattern anymore for real or genuine um, powder steel when you sand it even though it looks so plain and silverish looking uh, you cannot see it by bare eyes looking at it but when you shine a flashlight the pattern will reveal again that tells you that this is genuine uh, stuff okay so let's move on to the next one uh, one more cheap blade here this is very cheap it's about um, about 50 bucks <laughs> for a tanto this thing here you can see the pattern right away I didn't sand it but you can see the pattern right away see up close yeah you can see the pattern right away you see it's very obvious right yeah so when you put a flashlight over it the pattern becomes even more visible you see how visible that is okay just a second okay let me try to get that down okay there we go you see how visible that is okay if you put this thing to a uh, sandpaper challenge and sandpaper it down to scrub off all these patterns first and then see if it shows again I doubt it will show up okay but this kind of pattern is more like what we call it the uh, fake pattern it's so obvious and uh, it looks like that the patterns are popping up okay it doesn't doesn't really look like the pattern that we see there it looks more like a pattern that pops up and the, the underneath the steel underneath is uh, shiny so these patterns are usually uh, done by using a, a piece of mold or something like that and then they use that to duplicate patterns on the piece of steel and gives you the pattern so it's more like a add-on uh, decorative features and if you use sandpaper to sand it all down it will be gone and you cannot see it again so yeah well this is, like these fake pattern doesn't mean it's a, it's a bad sword though um it just means that the steel they use is a mono steel with some pattern decorations on top the patterns doesn't mean that the blade is better the pattern only means it's a pattern and for the uh, steel below that uh, it's good enough if it's mono steel meaning that it's carbon steel it's good enough for a sword like that and you can still cut you can still stab things it's fine so if you're looking for real pattern okay let me show you something this is a Han Dynasty style Chinese sword it costs about 200 to 300 bucks not a very expensive one but a very good one for the price I sanded this piece down uh, from uh, I think 200 and up to 3,000 grit and you can see that the blade here looks very reflective shiny and sexy looking so let's take a look up close yeah you see very sexy and ding 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 ding, ding you see it's very sharp <laughs> so it's uh, very sharp and sharp looking and also very reflective when it first came to me it's also very grayish due to the way they uh, try to reveal the pattern by dipping the sword into a uh, chemical liquid kind of thing and then uh, it etched the blade and shows the pattern when you sand down all that chemical stuff the patterns are gone you see you cannot see the pattern anymore right so since we all know the trick flashlight ready Okay, let's see this spot. Can you see the pattern again? You're right, you can see it. See? Okay, let me show you this side. Wow, look at that. See? 
the patterns are showing up and it's genuine you see very genuine pattern you on the other side and when you look at the tip usually for a long sort like that if you look at the tip it shows you that here is where the steel get bent and uh, hammered so you can see the difference okay. showing you the other way see how the tip is kind of different okay and here's the other way the other side it looks good actually you see okay so you see all that pattern it's real deal you see that oh this spot is lovely okay, you see even I sand a lot here the patterns are still showing up nicely all the way through see? so for a genuine pattern it shows up with the flashlight with fake patterns when you sand it it will not show up again now you can realize that these patterns I showed you with the more like a uh, cheaper blade from you, you see like a 200 bucks to 100 bucks kind of range the patterns are more milky color and they are very dense they are milky and not clear for even cheaper blade they have very obvious and clear pattern clear means like this or even 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 more cheesy this is clear okay you can see it right directly like that okay and it's very clear uh, and obvious to the eyes for expensive blade okay expensive ones like this the coast steel jade lion sword this sword is gorgeous it's uh msrp uh is about uh, $799, uh, $700, and I, if you buy it from uh, retail or something like that, it's usually about like four, five hundred or six hundred bucks. Very expensive plate with uh, jade color raised skin scabbard. So let's pull this out. This is a real deal. Very shiny and sharp looking and sharp, of course. You can see the plate is so mirror polished and it's very shiny. Okay, let's take a look close up. You see how shiny this is? Very, very shiny. You can even see the finger. See the finger back there? Okay, this is very shiny stuff. And you can see, okay, let's take a look all the way. It's shiny and very sexy looking. Now the blade has been cleaned off uh, all the oil and so there's no oil there. Just to show you the shininess. <laughs> shininess. Okay, so a blade like this you may think, ooh, there's no uh, pattern. I got cheated. It's not even a uh, photo stew. And uh, Coast Stew say that it's damaged. Where's the pattern? I don't see it. Now, here we go. For a blade as shiny as this, you need a flashlight. See? Very shiny, right? Take a flashlight. Can't you see the pattern? Woo! There we go. Good stuff is always like this. The good stuff is always like this. They only show up when you know how to see it. Woo! Sounds like Lord of the Ring. <laughs> you see the pattern? Okay. So. The treasure always shows up when you know how to see it. You see? It's gorgeous. And also, okay, let's take a look at this side. You see that pattern there? Let me stabilize the sword. And wow. You see? All these patterns are all hidden, but it's there. That's how you see the pattern on the Damaga Steel Sword or what we call a folded steel sword mm -hmm. you see that lovely okay so this is how you see the pattern on a very nice uh, folded steel sword it's very very shiny and very silver silverish uh, reflective looking like a mirror you can even see a teeth in, in the blade 
And uh, yeah, it's the real one, so you can see the pattern by using a flashlight. Another one by Cold Steel, a very recent product, the Battle Game. Uh, battle Sword, uh, Chinese Sword from Cold Steel again, also worth about the same price, uh, about 800 bucks. It's also very shiny out of the box. Here you can see some very reflective surface and also subtle pattern. Take a look close up. You may see the subtle patterns already. You see, there are some patterns that are very subtle. I suggest you look at this full screen so that you can see it clearly. Look at the other side. Okay. See, I think you can see that clearly already. It's uh, very subtle. See how shiny that is? Okay. Okay. Now let's take some, let's take a flashlight. This one here is really gorgeous. Take a look. You see the pattern? Wow. Dang, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay. This is what you call for the stew. The pattern is so damn obvious. And you can see that the pattern on this sword is more like um, defined, not milky, and also very, uh, very sexy looking. Okay. Very cool, eh? So when you know the trick, you can see the pattern very nicely. Let's flip the sword over and try here. Okay, wow, look at that. Can't you see? Oops. Nice, eh? So, this is how you can see the patterns on good quality Damagus steel or Foda steel sword. It looks very uh, silverish and mirror-like. But when you actually shine a flashlight at it, you can see the blade, uh, the pattern. And one thing to note is that we talked about the pattern's quality as well. Some cheaper patterns are very milky in color when you see it, and it's uh, less defined. And you can see that the patterns are very um, like polluted kind of thing, not, not very nice and neat. That's because the steel they use to sandwich between uh, is not good quality and they are not very big difference apart. Usually when they do damage steel or photo steel right now, they use some um, high carbon steel and low carbon, high carbon, low carbon to sandwich. And so when they uh, fold, like sandwich and fold and then spread it out and fold again, the pattern will look very uh, big, like there's a very big contrast and, co and the pattern is more defined because it's like you're sandwiching ham, cheese, ham, cheese, and then, and then ham, cheese, like that. So it looks very defined. If you sandwich, uh, like let's say uh, ham, and then beef, ham, beef, like that, and then you sandwich, it doesn't look really defined and it becomes milky, meaning that the color is almost the same. So whatever you do, there's, there is pattern, but the problem is the pattern is not very obvious. So by looking at the patterns, you can see the quality of the blade. Usually for a cheaper blade, but a functional blade like this one here, they give you for the steel, okay, genuine for the steel. But then the steel they use is usually the same kind of grading, uh, high carbon steel. And then they just fold it, fold it, fold it to make patterns. That's the main point. So you get the same steel all around, but about or about the same steel, but they sandwiched it and flow, fold and uh, forge that sword. For cheaper ones, like this one, usually it's a mono steel, meaning that it's not a folded steel. But on top of that, they use a pattern, uh, kind of like pattern design plate to weld a layer on top so that it, there's a pattern decoration on top. For good sword, they use different grades uh, of metal. For example, high carbon steel, and then they have low carbon, high carbon, and then whatever, whatever magical formula they sandwiched between, and then they uh, forge, fold, and then fold, like that and it becomes a very nice pattern very big contrast 
uh, clear and stuff like that. So by observing the patterns on the Dynamic Steel Sword, you can already tell how good is uh, the sword is and also you can see what kind of uh, steel they used. Usually you can tell by um, the carbon level which tells you the uh, like the pattern color. Usually uh, the pattern color that is uh, more milky and stuff, they have uh, a bit more carbon in it and uh, stuff like that. So by observing you can actually tell how good that sword is and um, how how nice the uh, quality is uh, with the pattern steel. So that's one good thing about pattern uh, steel sword because with the full steel you can actually tell the quality. Whereas with a mono steel sword without pattern, it's hard to tell because uh, you look at it and it's always like a mirror. You cannot tell what kind of steel it is all the time. So yeah, that's one good thing, but also a bad thing because it's hard to encounter a genuine and also good quality uh, full of steel sword. So that's my little mini lecture on uh, Damica steel or full of steel pattern sword. Hope you like it. Uh, share this out. Remember to subscribe and like it. Bye bye.